Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming Dion Cars. Now I am here at Porsche Mechanicsburg in Mechanicsburg, PA, and today we're taking a look at a ridiculously named car that has lots of ridiculous things about it. But this is a 2020 Land Rover Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic Edition. It's essentially the Range Rover Velar SVR. And in this video, we're going to take it for a drive. So, listen to this. All right, before we get going, gotta hear this again. All right, let's go for a drive. All right, so here we go in the Velar SVR. I'm gonna keep saying that because I just don't wanna say the full name of this car because it's really just a sort of ridiculous name. Uh, so this car has a five liter supercharged V8. <laughs> has the exact same engine that was in the F-Type uh, R that I drove, which was the best sounding car I've ever driven. I mean, that's a little bit different to be in the Roadster with the top up, but this car has that same engine. Five liter, supercharged V8. Now this is a sort of the top spec of Velar. You know, they call it the SV Autobiography, which is the same name of a car that has the Range Rover, the bigger one, has the SV Autobiography, that's more, the more luxurious one, but they also have the SVR. So I'm gonna affectionately call this the Velar SVR. Now, we're in Mechanicsburg, it's sort of a gloomy day here, um, but this car is just beautiful inside and out. The spec and the appointments in here are just pretty, pretty perfect. Um, the black exterior with the red leather, go see my other video to go over all the stuff that is in this car. But I, I said this before, I think this is really, this might be like the second best looking SUV that is on the market. I said the Audi Q8 is the best looking SUV and I'm still sticking to that. But this car is the perfect size, has the perfect proportions, and it just sounds fantastic. Um, now you get, what you get with this car is a lot because you will pay a lot. Now this car is on sale for $88,000. It is a 2020 with about 16,000 miles on it which is not a lot. Um, yeah, this, this interior is just beautiful. Um, I, I will never get sick of red leather on the inside, plus there's the carbon fiber inserts. Um, these seats are just so comfortable, and that's a C43. Anyway, these seats are so comfortable, and it just, you can hear this monster engine and exhaust right behind you. Let's see if we can hear it a little bit. normal height selected. Now there is a button here that I'm going to press to get the exhaust uh, opened up a little bit, but it just sounds fantastic. Now obviously a little bit different than the F-Type, but you don't want that you know, all the time. So I've driven a Range Rover Sport, never have reviewed uh, the big Range Rover, the normal classic Range Rover, um, but the, uh, the visibility is great. You've got you know, nice sight lines, good visibility at the back and the sides. Um, this is really, this car I think is really pretty much a total package. Um, you're not really missing anything, you know. So many cars try to be fancy and like overstyle their cars, but Range Rover has nice elegant lines. You know, they're, they're classically a British company. It's just, this is just a beautiful looking SUV and I think the driving uh, dynamics and everything are pretty, pretty spot on as well. As a daily driver, I think this car would be fantastic, you know, especially this one with the big motor. But even they have the supercharged three liter in this car, those lower trims, that still has like 360 horsepower. That would be more than adequate to have for, you know, an everyday driver. And yeah, like I said, this is the perfect size. It looks great inside and out. So let's try out some twisty roads. This does feel like a big heavy SUV because that is sort of what it is, but this being the performance version of a big SUV, big heavy SUV, um, it still handles pretty decently. Now we do have the giant brakes, the big 21 inch uh, rims. This does have Pirelli P0 tires, which are a fantastic tire, um, but I can't, I can't seem to like get this thing out of, you can't shake it. It just seems very planted, very firm in the ground. We do have a little bit of wet road, so I'm just gonna sort of take it easy. I am going to give her the beans in about 30 seconds, but it sounds, the sound is absolutely fantastic on this car with the big supercharger. I think Jaguars are known for the supercharge, supercharging as opposed to twin turbos. Here, listen. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Okay. There's nobody behind me. We're going to go and we're going to do the Gemi D straight. Okay, no one's behind me. I keep saying that. All right, here we go. Okay, Jaguar. 
Jaguar Land Rover Velar SVR. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Those upshifts are just brutal. It just, it sounds fantastic on the upshift. I mean, it, it almost sounds, it sounds like, it's like a mid-engine car, like you can hear so much behind you. Oh my God. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. This is, like I said, this is the best sounding car I ever drove was the F-Type with this exact motor. But holy shit. Listen, here we go. Get your ears ready. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, you know, it'll put a smile on your face too. I mean, come on. I gotta get a car that sounds good because it's just, it's intoxicating, you know, how good. It's just a, a beautiful sounding engine. There's no much more you can say to it. I, I feel like I'm bombing the hills with sound. A little bit wet, a little throttle. <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you, having this as a daily driver that sounds like that, plus you can put your kids and your dog in the back, I mean, Good lord. And we're gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah, the handling feels de decent. The steering wheel feels nice and firm. Plus you could do this. <laughs> All right, so this is the POV drive of the Velar SVR. And it, just look at the leather and the carbon fiber all around. But now you're gonna get to see and hear at the same time how good this thing sounds. So here we go. I'm gonna give it a couple little stabs. We're gonna, okay, there's a car. No, I don't want it. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. That is just amazing. Now I do have the paddle shifters on, but it just sounds even better. And we're going to do a little downshift after we get past this, past this car ahead of me, but god damn, this sounds good. Here, we'll do a, once we get past the second car, we'll do a downshift, and then we will give her the beans. Alright, downshift. <laughs> Alright, let's try a downshift. Ready? Wait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this this is an absolute performer. Absolutely 100% this would go 0 to 60 in 4 or just under 4. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's the total package. It sounds great. It looks great. Performance is there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I said earlier in the video, I, I came to the dealer to uh, do a review of that Bentley Continental, but it, as you can see, it's not the greatest day for a for a drop-top Bentley, so we just had to instead switch it up a little and do its English cousin, the uh, Velar SVR. Now, w whenever these came out, I thought, you know, it's just another it's just another Range Rover that's just a little bit smaller, but yeah, this is the perfect Range Rover. It's the perfect size. It looks the best, I think just sort of has the best styling out of all the big boy Range Rovers. Plus, it can sound, you know, like this. Alright, so just got back in my drive of this. This is a 2020 Land Rover Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic Edition. Okay, that's the last time I need to say that name. Um, but I was just trying to think in my head. So I, this is one of my favorite cars I've driven this year, but this is pretty similar kind of to that AMG, uh, 63 coupe that I drove. And I can't really figure out which one I sort of prefer. I might have to do a video comparing those two, but this car is pretty much the perfect SUV, I think, because it looks the part. I think it's the best looking Range Rover they've ever produced. I mean, it has a supercharged five liter V8, sounds fantastic. Plus this red leather and the black to go with all the piano black trim and the carbon fiber. I just, it's, I, I don't think I would spec it any other way. Um, it just looks fantastic performance. I mean, it's just a great SUV. So you can buy this car from Porsche Mechanicsburg where I am. I will put their website right here. 
Um, go check them out. Unbelievably nice people. They've always been gracious to me. So big thank you to them for giving me access to this Velar. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this car. Is it something that you would consider for $88,000? It is definitely not cheap, but you get a lot of SUV for that price. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got lots of cool stuff coming up. I have something really cool planned, maybe in the next few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gammy Dion Cars, where you can see the cars that I drive before they get posted to YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.